I have to change the English. Teresa told me my Mogrish is very bad. She helped me up change the whole sentence. This is a new one for you. Today I'd like to discuss with Teresa how unique my haircutting method is. Before that, I'd like to introduce you DVD. Five different haircut, body position, hand exercise, unique concept. My note how to study haircut by DVD. Now today's subject, how to study for the haircut. Teresa, we've been practicing April, right? Since April. Yeah, every month you come down here. Every week. Every, every week. week. So I'm very it's impressed that you're doing hard work and study. Then, uh, what do you think? My teaching is quite different than you ever have. I know you take a lot of seminar. You yes. love to take seminar. I, I wonder why. Huh? I love to learn. You have to run, but you, I think you have to go to join, enjoy the show, the seminar, to meet the people. That's what yes. most, most of the time, right? Yeah. I saw the commercial and so on. When it, when I feel no good, I take a seminar. I feel better. <laughs> then you go to Las Vegas, you broke. <laughs> <laughs> when you feel better, you go to Las Vegas. But anyway, so, but when you took my class, I think the difference in a lot of you took a lot of seminar. I think the, uh, the difference is that um, my haircuts are more precise. Yeah. They're quicker. Yeah. Why is that? And my cuts last longer. Yeah. Why is that? That's no good. People don't come back. <laughs> but they help. They come back just a little bit yeah. longer. So why why do why it became that much different? You took so many seminars, never do, it. never worked that way. Because I think that your theory of your standing position and being able to cut a straight line. Right. Works. Well, many people can't cut the straight. No. Why not? Because Mogi said so. Mogi said so. What do you mean? I, I don't say that. People think they cut a hair straight. They think the, they do, but they don't. Sit out the straight, right? Cold straight. You think you're cutting it straight, but you can't, right? Mm -hmm. what, what, the, what the biggest problem? Why come they can't do it? Because your body doesn't make it. If you don't stand in the right position, your body won't make a straight line. Why? Because your arms, because the way your body's made, it's made, it's not made to, made to make. Oh, you still don't really clearly understand what I'm saying, huh? What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> you cutting hair, you move around all the time, we just sit on spot, you have to stop it, cut it, right? Right? Mm -hmm. You don't, you want to try to cut it, you not keep moving. You have to, when you cut it, moment, you have to stop. Cut it, moment, you have to stop. Mm -hmm. right? Then you could make section you move, but again stop and pull the hair to cut it. Mm -hmm. You don't do that, you do something moving around too much. But <laughs> stop, bring that, right? That, that time when you stop, like this is this. See, hand move always, anytime you stop, human body made it very well, the very perfect circle they make. They don't build it straight move. So human body has a very interesting. You can make all kinds of different circle make, move, movement you do. Then you move the body and make a straight move. Then again circle move. Even the moving, you all need everything else to join to the circle movement. That's why we don't move the straight line. When you stop, move the hand, always make the straight and circle. That's why many people can't cut hair straight. That's my answer then. You know, I teach That's a good so, answer. I teach you so many times, you still don't get a mumbo jumbo, huh? How come? I <laughs> can't. <laughs> it's all right. You can keep it. I'm going to cut it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> teaching the big difference, right? Why like teaching? What do they do? Uh, we have the four different ways to teach you. Don't tell me you don't know. <laughs> you hate it to do. What? Put me on the spot. Uh, of course, you have to pronounce it. You have to understand that kind of stuff. Body position? Well, and that, position? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That. Foot position? Yeah. Then and what, movement? Yeah, that's great. And you know, when I said you're cutting a one leg haircut, what do you practice every day? First, to do what? Oh, you do yeah. verbal. No. You visualize. You visualize. You visualize. How many times? A hundred times. Right. You verbalize a yeah. hundred times. Right. You do the hand, body, and foot motion a hundred times. Right. Then. And then you cut the hair. Oh, no. then you do motion. The, the motion hundred. of the hair cut. Every ten times ten. you cut One the hair. Time. Yeah, well that's good. So that's, that's 
You think that's a lot of time to do? Many people say, you can't do it a hundred times. You think that's too much to do? No, because practice? it only takes minutes to do the motion or the verbal or the visual. And if you add those minutes up, it only come, adds up to a few hours. Right, so that's correct. So, and then what do we do that for hair cutting in the many hair to do? A to Z. When a customer comes in there, you have to finish it, everything. So many different ways to do it. So, what are we teaching right now for the one legs, right? Mm -hmm. Then for the right now, one legs with the horizontal cut, then uh, vertical. vertical cut, then one more last one for the diagonal. diagonal. Three line only we cut it. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you don't master that one straight line, it's so difficult. So do you know the piece of paper to try to straight line? To draw a straight the, line yeah, is hard to do. Hard, right? Very mm -hmm. difficult. Isn't it? But when you're cutting hair, we don't use any ruler. You cut a feeling to cutting hair straight. That's why very few people cut really good one inch cut. And even uh, when, if, when I do myself, sometimes I cut a pretty good one inch cut, but never be perfect the first time. I have to recheck again. After dry, I check it. Then also, I make a mistake. And many people say that you do. You hate to make a mistake. <laughs> you, you cry. I like perfection. Yeah, but perfection, it doesn't come that well. Never cut perfect cut. Nobody does it. I don't care who they are. Even a Vidal person can cut perfect. You have to keep fixing. Then we can pretty good. Hair. Just like a gymnastic. Nobody take a 10. Hairers are supposed to make a mistake, but your mistake is not begin with it. You don't know. Remember for the first time cutting one hand cut? You don't know how to fix it with a clientele, right? What right. happened? Like, keep, keep for what? Cutting shorter, cut shorter, shorter and shorter. Then the client said, "Don't cut it anymore." So he said, <laughs> "Right? Too short already." <laughs> then you have to stop, right? Well, that's what many people do. But what now you have difference. You cut it sometimes put good one in. You recheck again. Very good at it. Then if you make a mistake, you could correct it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. No problem. You don't. You could correct it, adjust it very well. So. That's a big difference. That's what they do the over and over and over again. Many people do the one haircut like you do, like to do different haircut. But the one length haircut has all element you're cutting here. Everything in it. But never people don't think that way. Okay? One length haircut, you make any line, outline that everything the sideways, flat, go up, outline the all same way to cutting here, basically. Straight line. The vertical straight line, diagonal straight line. So anything the cutting here straight and very important. But many people try to do. Oh, I want to cut this. I want to cut this. But you can't cut it straight. You're cutting every time, cutting a little bit off. So what happened? People never study, but they got hairdresser who, who never study, but it's good at it. Mm -hmm. What did you say that time? You don't remember. <laughs> You tell me the good hair is that did they all practice this one? Remember? The body motion, that kind of stuff? No, they don't. That's why they take a long time to become very good. 10, 15 years, sometimes never make it. And if you make it, but cut hair very good, but take a long time. So they he fixing every time you stay. Okay, then you make the best training right now in the world that we do right now. You want to be under the best, that's your future, that's your creation. Be under the best. But if you get best training, you get a great haircut. Every customer, you can satisfy it. But you're a creative, that's a different. You have the better than the best. That's a creative, that's your future. How many people do the creative haircut in your soul? Nobody, right? No. Yeah. Don't do it. People are going to kill you. <laughs> I got a couple of experience now. People come down here, more the greatest, you're having a good, you're an artist, do your thing, you create it, I want to change the image. You know what happened? What do people say Isn't that? Isn't that mostly for high fashion? Huh? Isn't that mostly for high fashion? No, it's not high fashion. Creative. No, what if somebody told you, Teresa, I want a new image, creative haircut. What do you think in your mind, the first thing in your mind? You just trim? Well, what do you do? Cut it short. Right. 
Here you go. We only do the kind of shoulder, right? Yep. So if you do that, that person don't like shoulder haircut. What happens? She's <laughs> screaming at you. You're in trouble now. Oh, big trouble. Figure out how to glue it that's back right. on. You can't glue it back. You have to <laughs> stick it down. See, that's what I mean. So many customers come down so long, they like to be basically whatever they have haircut more improved. Don't ever listen to the what a customer say. You are the artist to your thing. Is that a big mistake? Okay? If you do that, chances are she gonna cry. So don't do that kind of stuff because you have to be tell them have to adjust a little bit little, until you know and then you could do it. But there are a few people who really want to change the haircut. Unfortunately, especially your haircut, the same haircut for almost like 20, 30 years, right? Same looks. Don't tell me. Ah, <laughs> yes, I know. I can tell you. It's a typical lady's haircut, right? Typical. Yeah, no spice. Now you know what's supposed to do the haircut. Many people got to show, to watch it, inspiration, but you don't do it yourself and never became a good haircutter. Then also you, you know what you're doing there. If you don't know, just copy it. It doesn't do any good. So. Next time you see it, really understand how really do it one length haircut is. If you have any question, please write me later. I will answer to you. If you like more information, please subscribe this YouTube. And tell your friend. Tell them. Thank you very much. See you again.